Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can use variables for debugging or testing. So what I meant by that is uh, whenever you are creating a DEX calculation or a big calculation then a part of that if you want to test it as to what output is giving then you can do that. It can be helpful in case of debugging where part of the code is not working or let's say you are not getting the expected output then you can basically see which part is not giving you the correct output. So for that uh, I'll show you in a minute but just before that quick information that this is a live Google Sheet for which uh, link is present in the description. That means you can access and come over here in this sheet search any of my previously 184 videos and jump to that particular video using the link present in column B. Also for your convenience I have highlighted some of my dashboard videos as well where I have shown the dashboard from the scratch like HR analytics dashboard, organization diversity and these four different dashboard. So you have this dashboard link in front of that go and um, have fun when, when uh, learning the Power BI. So with that, let's go to Power BI and see this in an action. Okay, so here we are in the Power BI. And if you remember, this is the video. Uh, in the last video, I have discussed about how you will going to create the variables, right? And what we got as an output is this, right? Sales ratio. Now, let's say for some reason, think about this. Maybe sales ratio is not coming as an output, expected output. So in case if this is not giving the expected output you may start wondering oh probably this calculation is not giving the output or this calculation is not giving the output then in that case what you can do is you can simply come over here and return and change the variable so if i just change this to total sales and click ok you will see that this will going to change right so if i just uncheck the percentage this is what you get and if you see this is what the total is so ideally this is the expected output that you will going to get in this case similarly if you want to return the sales let's say you can return the sales so whole idea is this you are returning a part of the calculation which has been defined in the variable and debug your calculation or your code uh, step by step like how you do it and uh, get the resolve the issue or test your uh, specific DAX calculation. So that's something I wanted to show you as to how you can use it for logic testing or DAX expression testing or debugging. With that, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.